So my name is Michael Anderson. Um, I'm the uh, Senior Applications Engineer with Catadyne Desalination here in Petaluma, California. And um, we just completed our first 20,000 gallon a day container based unit. Um, and I'd like to show it to you. So basically what you're looking at up against this wall are two completely separate systems. So there's one system that goes from here over that's a LB10,000. This one's working off of the top membrane. So this top membrane housing has three uh, 8 by 40 inch seawater membranes in it. And then this pump is working off of the system from here over. And that one's running off of the bottom membrane housing. So one of the things we've done um, that we're kind of really happy with here is we've taken all of the plumbing that's normally buried behind panels and things and we've laid it out in a single plane so that it's really easy to see uh, where the water's flowing to and from. So all the feed water comes in from this pipe here and then that runs all the way down the end to these filter housings down here. So from the filter, from the five micron filter housings, it runs down that manifold to the pump, and then the five micron filter housings are actually fed by these media filters. So there are two media filters for each system, and you can flush those separately. And then along with that, we have um, chlorine injection that goes with the product water. So the chlorine injectors are here. You basically just fill that up with a gallon of Clorox and about 14 gallons of water. And that should last for about 100 days as far as chlorinating the water going out. And then there's a separate feed pump for each system. So these are seawater certified jet pumps. They'll actually pull about 15 feet of suction head and they have basket strainers in them. So the first line of defense is the basket strainer and the pump. The second is, are the media filters. And then from the media filters, it goes to a 5 micron filter that catches anything that the media filters miss. This is kind of a tried and true configuration for these systems. We've done quite a few systems like this, but this, is, this, this particular configuration is unique. So one of the things we've also added with this system is we've gone to uh, a different style of motorized valve. Uh, product water coming from the membranes comes up this tube. This tells you what the flow rate is of product water. This is actually measuring the product water's little roto flow right here. And then um, this is the salinity probe to measure the salinity. Um, we also have a motorized pressure relief valve, which is unique to this system, um, so that uh, the pressure relief valve is always open during startup and then closes slowly as the system starts. So uh, one of the other unique features of this system is we have two completely separate control systems. So we're introducing the new Spectre Connect controller, which there'll be another video on how that functions. Um, available and then it's also can be completely run manually and when it's running manually it's still protected with a low pressure feed switch and a high pressure cutoff switch for the membranes. So to just look at some of the particulars so all of the valves down here that you see with the yellow handles are all in the closed position. Um, so to run the unit we would there's an arrow on the valve that points towards um, where you want the water to go. So we want the water to come out of the feed into the system through this valve. Um, it'll show the flow rate on this, on this flow meter here and also the feed pressure on this gauge. The water then comes into the, into the pump, into the Pearson pump, gets pressurized 
um, runs through the membranes through these high pressure hoses. So it goes in on the left, which is the brine seal end of the, the membrane housing, as you see here. Um, and then comes out on the other end, and the high pressure water from, return from the membrane comes back into the Pearson pump. So this is where all the magic happens, the energy recovery happens in, in the Pearson pump. Then um, after we've extracted all the energy out of the return water from the membrane, it is discharged um, back to atmosphere through this hose, um, goes out, goes up into the brine discharge tube up here. Um, they're connected together, so both of them run into one, and then it goes to a drain here that's vented, and then goes out to the drain field. So this is the inlet and outlet ports that go for all the water coming in. So the water coming in are the two flex hoses on the bottom. Um, this, is the, this is actually chlorinated water coming back from the pressurized storage system on site. And then these two hoses over here are the product water going out, and the black one is the drain. So we also have charcoal filters in here, so the water coming back in is chlorinated goes through the charcoal filters and then from the charcoal filters back through the freshwater flush circuit. And again, the freshwater flush circuit you can do either automatically or manually. We also have included in the system tank float switches. They would connect here and that will allow the system to run, to operate based on level switches in a tank. So when the tank drops below a certain level, the system would automatically start up and run. When it gets to the top and the top tank switch is closed, the system would stop, do a freshwater flush, and wait for that sequence to start again.